Item number SCP-5320, Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Underwater drones 5320A2D are to monitor their respective locations along SCP-5320's body. Video feeds are to be checked once every 24 hours for any change in SCP-5320's shape or location. SCP-5320's current location are mapped and may be accessed with permission from Dr. Quill. SCP-5320 can be formally referred to as the fish that just goes on forever, our merciful and long lord, or its glorious infinitude, hail its everlasting fish body. Chances of locating the head or tail of SCP-5320 may be increased by offering sacrifices in the form of vending machine snacks based on top of a break room microwave. Removal of present offerings is strictly forbidden. Note, offerings must be left on the microwave in order to preserve the site's current internet speed. Internet may slow if offerings are removed, as proved by one test conducted by researcher Avery. Description, SCP-5320 most closely resembles a Labarde, a snowfish, but without a visible head or tail, or though with an height measure in normal ranges for its species, SCP-5320's body extends as long as Foundation underwater drones have been able to follow it, concluding that the creature is either extremely long or limitlessly entirely. Efforts to locate the head or tail of SCP-5320 are ongoing. The creature was discovered during the routine by yearly sweep of the ocean floor. The drone responsible for the discovery examined the creature for approximately 50 hours and 38 kilometers before steps to anomalous classification proceeded. Underwater drones have been following the length of SCP-5320s continuously for three years since, making the estimate for SCP-5320s length between 37,000 and 39,000 kilometers long and perpetually increasing. Additional side effects of viewing SCP-5320 include a heightened awareness of the passage of time, increased interest in sealing tile number, and increased use of the phrase long boy in casual conversation, even when referring to things that are neither long nor a boy. Personnel monitoring SCP-5320 have reported being an unusual amount of excitement upon seeing one of SCP-5320's occasionally visible fins, as well as a compulsion to loudly cheer. Addendum 5321 The People's Church of the Fish That Just Goes On Forever has received a new addition to the shrine in the form of two fish-shaped novelty racers gifted to the church by one Kenny Rosenfeld, age 8, progeny of researcher Margaret Rosenfeld. Log taken from security recordings within primary surveillance office. Begin log. Hey, hey, praise the fish. <laughs> May we locate the head or the tail? Right, or the tail. Did Radcliffe tell you it passed over a vent? No, is it okay? Yeah, totally fine. Thank God. Thank the fish. Thank our merciful Lord the fish. May its body be never ending and impervious to anything we poke it with. May it bring us a bountiful harvest. Yeah, may it bring us a good snacks for once. Then I'll sacrifice my firstborn child to the fish so we can get RC Cola again. Ha 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 log. Log taken from by weekly research staff meeting. Begin log. All our updates looking like for the week. We have not been cleared for physically invasive testing. I have been advised that we keep watching it until we have more reliable means of tracking. I was afraid of that. Alright, I want status reports. New activity, new development. What have we seen? A few days ago, drone 5320C logged another dorsal fin. Brief a pause, subdued laughter. Congrats on seeing your fin, researcher Avery. Anybody else? 
Okay, then we can get right down to business. Hail the fish! Hail the fish! Now the question whose answer we all have been seeking for research purposes. People Russell's. Could the fish use its glorious and infinite body to tie up the legs of the Christian god like in 8080? The Christian god is not real, is not an acceptable answer at this time, Dr. Maxwell. And log. Log taken from annual staff holiday party. Begun log. Researcher Avery lowers over the noise of the party. Shut up! If I can call this meeting too. Radcliffe, shut up! She continues as the noise dies now. On behalf of all staff on assignment 5320, I thank you all for being here and welcome you to the Marine Research Installation 14 First Annual Fishmas Party! Yay! Where we gather to express our gratitude and service to our perpetually prolonged providence. The fish that goes on forever. Yeah! All staff are advised to partake in alcoholic beverages and leave non-perishable snacks on top of the microwave to contribute to our research efforts and find the end of SCP-5320 for the good of the Foundation and humanity itself. <laughs> in the temporary accents of Dr. Quill, I declare the next person to see a Fin list of the fish may the harvest be bountiful and the anomalies never reach. May we locate the head or the tail. Amen. Let's get drunk at work. Unwrite messages. One. From Emina. Two. El Crow. Subject. On-site behavior. Dr. Quell, I've noticed some strange occurrences happening among your staff recently. I'd like to check in with you this week to review the situation. If you can pull your staff psychological record, I'd be appreciative. Please, let me know your availability when you can. Dr. Emily Mina, from El Crow to E. Mina. Subject regarding on-site behavior. Things are a little slow on our end, but everything is going smoothly from my understanding. I have a meeting with Dr. Stevens on Wednesday at noon, but I am otherwise free. Thank you for your concern. I hope to have your worries cleared up as soon as possible. Dr. Lupe Quell, High Priestess of the People's Church of the Fish, that goes on forever. Addendum 5322, Invectus Tree Interview of Dr. Lupe Quell. Interviewer, Agent Rachel Summers. Interviewee, Dr. Lupe Quell, Head of Research on SCP-5320. Background, Increasing Amounts of Unexplained Behavior Surrounding SCP-5320. Good morning, Agent Summers. It's my understanding that you have some questions for me. Yes, we received some evidence pertaining to SCP-5320 that we think may constitute an info-hazardous effect. We hope you can shed some light on the situation. Info-hazardous? It comes as a surprise to me. I haven't heard anything about that kind of excitement happening in our neck of the sea. Our hope is that we won't find any excitement at all. Excitement usually translates to more work for everybody. You'll be surprised how willing I would be to take a little more work sometimes. When we all... Shall we? Absolutely. Dr. Quell, how long have you been working on this assignment? Two, three years? Have you noticed any considerable behavioral changes since you began here? I had a brief stint with depression last year, but our psych staff has done good work, helping all of us work through our issues. So nothing that you have observed in yourself? Nothing beyond the expected, no. And your staff? Nothing of the ordinary, but... You know, I don't hand in all of that. Uh-huh. And how long have you been part of the... The People's Church of the Fish that goes on forever? How long have we? Are you talking about my email signature? Unofficial Closing Statement of Investigation SCP-5320 March 16th, 2018 Agent Rachel Summers after following up with Dr. Quell and the rest of the staff assigned to SCP-5320, I've come to the conclusion that the 
tip concerning SCP-5320 having info hazardous abilities was a false alarm, I will finish due diligence to officially close this investigation upon arrival back at Site 211. The effects of SCP-5320's suspected additional ability turned out to be nothing more than a very elaborate running joke among the staff. Dr. Quayle has promised to turn it down and keep any further tomfoolery out of the Foundation database. Today marks the fourth consecutive false alarm I've had in the past several months. There was a part of me hoping this one would turn out to be real, but alas, I returned to my desk. It appears not even Foundation staff are immune to the human drive to make up dumb superstitions when they're bored. On a semi-related note, Peters may not move my wizard off his spot again. God knows I don't need 69 more years of bad luck. H.O. Summers.